Tommy, Chucky, Angelica, and the twins, Phil and Lil. If those names ring a bell, you probably watched the Rugrats. Nickelodeon's popular Rugrats cartoon was on the air for more than a decade in the 1990s. Now a reboot is happening, and as 207's Beth McAvoy tells us, the show has some serious ties to Maine. The show's been sort of baked into my DNA. Sam Clark, who grew up in Wyndham, has worked in television for the last decade. I was a big fan of the original Rugrats, and it was always a treat because I didn't have cable <laughs> sort of in the, in the heyday of Rugrats, but my grandparents down in Westbrook did. And so on Saturdays when we would go to their house, it's like, yeah, I get to watch Rugrats. Just when Clark was ready to throw in the towel on his dream career of writing for TV. Um, I'd worked on somewhere like 20 or 25 different projects and it was just getting old. Uh, it's the kind of thing where like when you're in it, you're like, yeah, this is heroic and romantic, 12 hours a day, woo. But like the moment that you get out of it, you're like, what was I doing? <laughs> Another Wyndham native, Kate Bootlier, who is the executive producer and head writer of the Rugrats reboot, gave Clark the opportunity of a lifetime. Some of the most recent projects I had been on before Rugrats were A Million Little Things and the show Get Shorty. Like the, there was some dark comedy and Get Shorty, violence, A Million Little Things dealt with a lot of very important issues, but also very like heavy emotional issues. And I found myself in these writers rooms being like, I, I don't even have the stuff to contribute here because this isn't how my mind and my imagination works. They, once I got on Rugrats, it was just like, let's get silly, let's get fun, let's be playful and imaginative. And I was like, yay! <laughs> Needless to say, Clark has found a place that feels like home. So far, he's written six episodes of the new Rugrats. Never, never let it go near the balloon popper machine. That's what that's for? Why do houses even have a balloon popper machine? Why do grown-ups like long pants? There's some stuff so I'll never know. The best parts of writing for a show like Rugrats is, I mean, these characters are so well-established. I mean, they, they've been around for years in the 90s. Like, everyone knows who these characters are. And so it's already easy to kind of get into their heads and know like what will get them excited, what will make them uncomfortable, what will make them grow. Clark's writing is inspired by his own experience as a dad. I have a toddler son. Uh, he's turning two soon. And so it has definitely been uh, very informative <laughs> in terms of how kids behave and, and also uh, just, you know, because because Rugrats, you know, usually there, there's the baby story and there's the parent story. And every parent story I write, I'm just like, oh, yeah, no, I'm living that. that that's, I draw a lot on my own childhood. I was a kid with big feelings and big thoughts. With the executive producer and writer both from Wyndham, Maine viewers are sure to notice nods to the Pine Tree State. We needed a name. And I mean, this is silly and boring, but like at first I was like, hey, Kate, like maybe we do something Maine related like Mr. Sebago. And she's like, let's just go for it. Let's call him Mr. Wyndham. We love Wyndham. Let's do it. Jack Crockett, you're opening car trunks again. Sorry, Mr. Wyndham. And I'm a little worried about Mr. Wyndham's pacemaker over. Clark appreciates the material that being from Maine has given him as a writer. You might not realize it when you're growing up in a, in a town like Wyndham or a state like Maine, but everything about it is kind of extraordinary. Like I remember growing up, they're like, just write what you know, write your own story, write about the people you know. And I'm like, that's boring and le like cheating or whatever. But after spending 10 years living outside of Maine, living in Los Angeles, I look at them and I'm like, these people, these places are, they're beautiful, they're special, they're unique, they're hilarious. And, you know, without giving anything away, like this, the Mr. Wyndham thing, is not going to be is not going to be the first thing that Mainers see where they're like, oh shoot, that's Maine dude. <laughs> Kate Bootlier worked on the original Rugrats show and has had an impressive career writing and working on shows like Family Ties and Growing Pains, among others. It has been such a gift working with Kate, um, and the the fact that not only that she's from Maine, but that she's from Wyndham. Like, like from day one, we just had this. I mean, we were already friends beforehand, but this working friendship and these set of inside jokes, I mean, like, 
we grew up riding our bikes on the same roads. Like, like we know which hills in Wyndham are a real bear to bike up. <laughs> and it's, it. I don't know, there's just this, this closeness that is so special and having that shorthand together. Although the show has undergone some changes, writers hope it will still appeal to both kids and adults. We try to make it so that it's, it's, it's funny on its face for a kid, even if they don't get it. But like when you're an adult, you're like, oh, I, I see what they did there. <laughs> the first time you saw Sam Clark as a writer on Rugrats, what did that feel like? It was amazing. It, it was, it was like, it, it made it all feel worth it. I, I've worked on a lot of shows. Some of them I'm proud to have worked on. Some of them are like, eh, you, you, no one ever needs to see that, <laughs> but this, has just been such a blessing to have creative agency on the show, working alongside such amazing people. I don't know how I can top this. Okay, so I was a kid who watched the Rugrats. Of course, mind, I was gonna ask. And it it's very strange to see. I get that like children's shows now are that weird 3D yeah. look anyway, yeah. but it's very strange to see them, the characters like that. That's true. When any when anything that we loved as kids is altered in any way, that can be a little risky for for, for those of us who are wallowing in nostalgia. Right. Right, like all those parents whose kids yeah. now are watching are like, whoa, yeah. what is this? And here's one more nice local note. When Sam Clark was attending Wyndham High School, he interned for a local newspaper and he wrote a profile of Kate Boudelier and her career in television. He says if you had told him then that someday he would work for Kate, he would not have ever believed you. That is really cool. And you can find a handful of new Rugrats episodes streaming on Paramount+. Plus. More of the new series is going to air later this year.